In this video, we're completing example one and we're going to calculate the value of x in each diagram below. You'll notice that every diagram has parallel lines and that says to me that I should be looking for z shapes, f shapes and c shapes. So in question A, I can see a, a quite obvious z shape, which I'm going to draw right now. And that tells me that the angle in the corner is 35 degrees, this angle here. So I'm going to write that down. And when you try to solve these problems, you just keep writing down angles as you find them until eventually when you find x. Now, we actually have enough information to find x because if you look closely, we're making a complete revolution. That tells me that the x and the 35 degree angle will add up to 360 degrees. So x will equal 360 minus 35, which gives me 325 degrees. Now let's look at question B. And when I look at it, I can see a C shape that can be made. I can also see an F shape as well. You can pick either one. You'll, you'll find with these problems, you can solve them in more ways than one. I'm going to go with the C shape anyway, which means that this angle here would be 75 degrees. And if you're not sure why, it's because 105 plus 75 equals 180 and angles in a C shape add up to 180 degrees. Now when I look at it, I'll notice I've actually got vertically opposite angles. I've got two sides that intersect at a point, which means that the X, which is opposite the 75, must be 75 degrees as well. So I'm just going to write that down below. X equals 75 degrees. You'll notice when we do these problems, we're not giving any explanations as to how we came up with the angle. And the reason for that is, the, is that the questions are not actually asking for explanations. They're just wanting you to, to solve them. Now, moving on to question C, I'm just having a quick look to see if there are any F, Z or C shapes. I can see an F shape like so. which tells me that the angle in the top left corner is a 71 degree angle. After doing that, I can now see a C shape like so, which means that this angle in the corner would have to be 109 degrees since 109 plus 71 equals 180. Angles in the C shape add up to 180. And now I can find the X because I can see I have a straight line, which I'll just highlight for you. Here's my straight line like so, which means that my X and my 109 degree angle must add up to 180. So X will equal 180 minus 109, which gives me 71 degrees. That concludes our video on example one. Remember, if you read the description below, you will find links to worksheets related to this video.